internet. It's me again, Fast Eddie. So today we're gonna to talk about profile cylinders. This particular one is made by GMS. Here locally, they sell them uh, to us locksmiths through our wholesaler at Doyle Security, special shout out. But this is what they look like. Wow. These cylinders fit in tri-lock doors, European style, and screen doors. They basically sit upside down, you recognize it that way, which is a bad thing because it catches moisture. I'm not a big fan for that reason, but a lot of people have them. But they're rekeyable. You can see the set screws that release each pin one individually so you can rekey it. This is for a Schlage. I've already rekeyed the house so they want a screen door that matches their locks on their house. Typically I sell them for $45 a piece. More importantly, GMS, the calibration on these cylinders make it so that when I rekey it to a Schlage key, I use the actual pins that work with Schlage cuts. There's plenty of profile cylinders out there that actually seem to be off. So you're actually guessing at what the pins are. They're a little more uh, deeper or shallower, deeper, shallower, I don't know. But anyway, the fact is this GMS is completely accurate to the codes on a Schlag key. And also you can buy them for quick set or wiser. Completely accurate to code. So let's install it. So this screen door is made by Rockwell. And as, as I told you, it's a tri-lock. You have a latch here. It has a bolt up there on the top. I don't know if you can see it. There's one down on the bottom. So it's pretty cool. It's the first one I've seen like this. But as I said, it has a profile cylinder. The problem is they had the wrong one in here. That's for a quick set keyway. And their house locks are schlags and they wanted their key for the screen door to match their house door. So we're gonna pull it out. It has a set screw on the side of it, a long set screw. And now we have to line up the tailpiece by turning the thumb turn with the profile of the cylinder to be able to get the cylinder out of the door. Otherwise it's just jammed in there. Right, what I'm talking about is this, this is the tailpiece right here, that little chunk of metal you see there. We have to line it up with the top part of the cylinder to be able to slide it in and out of the door. So we just slide this one out. That's the old one. And now we put in the new one. And this is a set screw. That holds the cylinder in the door. What I like about the GMS is the thumb turn is a lot beefier and heavier than what came with the original one. That's a small little dinky one. So this is how they work. You actually have to lift the handle, hold it up, and then turn the bolt, and then it's locked, and it stays locked. It's very unique. I, I really like it. So we got their profile cylinder to match up to their house lock and their keys. And that's what we were shooting for. Basically upsold them on uh, the idea. They loved it. And I thought the screen door was so unique. Why not, right? So that's basically it. That's our profile cylinder installation that we did today. So that's how a profile cylinder works with the Rockwell screen door. It's a new screen door to me. I really like it. Most screen doors I don't, I tell homeowners don't even bother with them. But this was kind of unique, right, Rob? Excellent. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's what a profile cylinder looks like. Again, yeah. And uh, thank you for joining me today. This is Fast Eddie from Fast Eddie's Keys Express in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Have a good week. Bye-bye.